Hey guys, so it's Friday, it's the weekend. We've packed up the car and the three of us, including Cartan in the back there, are off up north. We're going to Glyndos, which is where Ingmar and his family are originally from. Um, and we are doing something possibly culturally entertaining this weekend. I have no idea what I've been walked into. So we're going to the annual sheep gathering. The gathering of sheep. Yeah. They are gathering the sheep from the mountains, cooling them all up, hurting them all down, and then they have to separate them. How did they hurt? Are they on horses when they hurt them? Well, horses and quad bikes sometimes. Quad bikes? I can do that. I don't know what I'm expecting here. Um, I think the quad bikes could be really interesting. I don't think the sheep gathering will be. <laughs> but I will capture whatever happens. Um, this is Carta. This is um, Ingmar's nephew. Uh, his mum is away over in Florida at the moment. Not the best of places to choose to go on, on your holiday. Um, but she's back in a week's time. So we are currently babysitting big time. Um, and having a lot of fun, so it's been quite a fun couple of days doing the school run and making pack lunches and making sure that the school bag is ready and that we're at school on time and we pick them up on time and the homework is all done as well. So here you go, I'll show you what the surroundings look like. It is sunny right now um, and I'm sure Kartan is very much looking forward to getting more into the vlog. there's a cluster of farms, I don't know if you can see them, but the one that's kind of furthest away is where Ingemar's mum grew up. Well, I was there for, raised there for the first two years of my life. Ah. And the sun is coming out, we're heading to Blundos where sometimes it is sort of sunny. Sort of. <laughs> so here's the missus. We are currently in Blantos. Uh, we are about to cook. We're gonna cook dinner. And we're having foal. Steph will love this foal. These used to be beautiful baby horses, but they decided they had a higher purpose in life, and so they died for us, so we could have a barbecue. <laughs> Thank you, foals. No, please don't express your hate in the comments. What hate? <laughs> there is no hate. There is only love. <laughs> No, I love vegetarians. <laughs> We're about to eat vegetarians. True. Uh -huh. Right, cheers. Scalp. Slangeva. Scalp. We just fired up the barbecue, um, but I'm just standing outside. It's not actually too cold, but it's quite a nice light at the moment. Um, it maybe looks quite spooky to you guys though. So here's the barbecue man <laughs> with a very high tech barbecue. It's an electric car in Blunders. <laughs> this is so modern here nowadays. What's the total population? Under 900, I think, all around. Wow, how many was it when you were growing up here? A thousand. Oh, so it's not really fallen in population. It used to be a thousand people and there were 160 kids at my school. Uh, when I came back to teach 10 years after I graduated, there were 60 kids at school and 900 people. So the young people went away. Whoa, the horses are not liking you. <laughs> Kartan has asked me to help him with the computer game. I know nothing about computer games, as quite a few of you already know. Um, so yeah, I'm not the one to help you. Help me! <laughs> okay, mission failed. Let's see if we can uh, not die. Look at this chef in the fanciest outfit. <laughs> so, Icelandic dinner. <laughs> Done. My summer look in Iceland. <laughs> I'm making sure I'm nice and warm. I've got a cough sweet in as well. What day is it? Saturday? Saturday. Yeah. 9th of September. <laughs> and we're heading off to see the sheep now. Do you think the sheep know what's what's happening? Yeah, they probably do because they're they there and they're being herded. Yeah. So they probably realise that they're not on the pastures anymore. Yeah. Down to Blondos. Granny, have they? Not open. Really cool church.
church though, up on the hill over there. I'll show you if I can show you. Behind the school. It's coming, it's coming. There you go. And that is a... a so the first time Ingmar brought me here, we came for dinner and we drove around. <laughs> There's only two restaurants. Both of them were closed. So uh, we ended up eating dinner at the petrol station. You're going in. I think I'll just stay here. <laughs> yeah, stay with me. Be safe. <laughs> Can you see? There we go. <laughs> okay, at least the sheep are terrified. <laughs> ah, bah. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Hey guys. Get me out of here. Help me. And us too. Yep. She's just walking along. They look like some real cozy rugs. <laughs> look at this guy. Gone dying. What's he got? <laughs> Ecky got. <laughs> so I think what happens is that down there where all the people are is where they bring the sheep and then they sort them by the code or the number that they have a tag in their ear and then you bring each one from each farm through that door so this one that we're standing at right now is Ingmar's friend's farm and here comes one of the farmers to give the sheep another bit of a fright. <laughs> Okay, we've decided we're gonna be brave. We're gonna try and actually go in ourselves. So let's do it. <laughs> Complete city people. Yeah, we can do this, Cartan. We can totally do this, yeah. This is hilarious, probably watching this means nothing, but actually being in this is actually quite scary. Oh my word. <laughs> Whoa, they are terrified of us more than anything. Oh, sheer panic. <laughs> okay, we're now in the heart of it. <laughs> I'm uh, perched up on a fence, and this is the current action. There's more sheep. Let's see how confident we are to actually leave again. <laughs> Come on, sheeps. Whoa. <laughs> keep going, keep going. You're okay. 
walk with complete confidence through an entire pack of sheep. Are they called a pack? I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, the sheep just escaped as we were leaving there. <laughs> so Ingmar's had to run after it. We held the door open for a fraction of a second too long and it made a run for its life, quite literally. <laughs> the shameful escapee. Can we take that one home then? <laughs> they had a they had a pet sheep and neighbours. Um, Kartan, come out the way. See you down there. Hey. Now you got the real issue. Beautiful. <laughs> See how brave we're gonna be, huh? It's gonna do this. Really? That's the film of man. Here's going. <laughs> Yay, we made it! <laughs> okay. Yeah, look at these girls though. They're brave. <laughs> oh my goodness. There he is, action shot. <laughs> Bringing home the uh, dinner. <laughs> We successfully walked on our own through this and then we're blocked by all of this. <laughs> we're gonna go out but we can't get out the gate. So Ingmar is in his absolute element <laughs> and we have decided to come back to the car because we are frozen and a little bit bored. Um, definitely not up for joining in. That looks terrifying and so we're trying to get heat in us um, and deciding if we should just drive back to Ingemar's friends or stay here. I don't know. Can we see your face? Let's see what's happened to him. Look at that. Oh. Brilliant. It looks worse than this bit. <laughs> right, we've decided that it is so cold um, that we're going to head off, we're going to head back to Maggie's. Um, and basically, I realised that actually um, participating, joining in and helping out would eliminate the cold and we would be a lot warmer. But I've just seen Ingmar's eyebrows, so I don't think that that's a good idea. Um, so we're gonna head back home and get warm. Morning guys, it is Sunday. I didn't finish the vlog yesterday because we were so cold. We got in the car, drove back home, um, and then I think Kiertan probably played some games. Played some Xbox or something. <laughs> got that. What's it got? with Maggie and his wife and discussed the world and put it to rights. Um, so this morning we are out and we are hand delivering thank you cards for the wedding. So we're heading off to Ingmar's brother. This is our thank you card. Here you go. Um, we've got little postcards that we're handing out to 
people and we're just gonna head there now and then drive back down to Reykjavik and get ready for school tomorrow. Cute little Icelandic church. I just realized what a cool view this is. Okay, you can drive. <laughs> It's extreme! Oh my word! Ah. Could you ever imagine living here? And this is summer! My eyes are watering in the wind. You probably can't hear me. Oh my word! <laughs> oh it's freezing cold! Yeah, every sensible person is indoors, but there's a bus load of people down here. No, it's just a bus. Oh, it's just a, <laughs> there is a lot of people in the petrol station though, Ooh. so seemingly Blundus is on the map. I don't oh, really know why. Damn. <laughs> damn. So, sorry about the tour from the car, but we're in a little bit of a rush. So I'll just give you a quick overview of Blundas and the beautiful old town. old town and the old buildings here. They're nice and colourful but I'd say a little bit run down. So we are now heading up to the point where Ingmar um, romantically decided to take me to a cliff edge and tell me the three very important words. Four. <laughs> well four, yeah four to him three to most other people. He took me to this cliff edge up here and told me that he thought he loved me. <laughs> so you can imagine how worried I was when we drove to this kind of a location. <laughs> it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah. 